We have all been in one or two toxic relationships, but I bet none of you would ever imagine following a strict set of rules by your significant other, but rather just move on. This is, however, not an option for the First Lady of North Korea. From not being able to take a trip by herself to the things she must keep her eyes closed for, in today's video, we will be talking about weird rules that Kim Jong-un's wife has to follow. Let's begin. 14. No talking to foreigners. Ri sol Ju, the wife of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, is known for her enigmatic presence in the public eye. Despite her occasional appearances at state events and functions, there's a weird rule that sets her apart. She isn't allowed to engage in direct communication with foreigners. This stringent regulation is influenced by the secretive nature of North Korea's regime, where control over information and interactions with the outside world is tightly monitored. While Ri Sol Ju accompanies her husband during diplomatic summits and high-profile gatherings, her interactions remain limited to domestic officials and dignitaries. This restriction is emblematic of the isolationist policies that define North North Korea's approach to international relations, where maintaining a tightly controlled narrative is paramount. Speculation abounds regarding the reasons behind this restriction, ranging from concerns over potential leaks of sensitive information to preserving the regime's carefully crafted image. Whatever the rationale may be, Ri Sol Ju's silence in the presence of foreigners serves as an emblem of the insular nature of North Korean society and the unique dynamics at play within its political hierarchy. Despite the allure of her occasional public appearances, the mystery surrounding Ri Sol Ju's role and the constraints placed upon her interactions only serve to deepen the intrigue surrounding one of the world's most enigmatic countries in the world. 13 hide their relationship. You see, leaders in North Korea cast a veil of secrecy over romantic relationships, with public appearances alongside a partner considered utterly unthinkable. This tradition extends back through the lineage of North Korean leaders, shaping the dynamics of their personal lives and public personas. But Ri Sol Ju navigated this tradition with utmost discretion, remaining hidden from public view until her official marriage to Kim Jong-un. The precedent for such secrecy is deeply ingrained in North Korean history. The first wife of Kim Il-sung, North Korea's founding leader, remained virtually unknown to the public during her lifetime, despite being the mother of Kim Jong-il, who would later venerate her posthumously. Similarly, Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un's father, adhered to this tradition by not acknowledging his first wife while she was alive, only recognizing her after her passing. In contrast to the strict secrecy surrounding the predecessors of Kim Jong-un, Ri Sol Ju's visibility is comparatively higher, albeit still limited. Her occasional public appearances, though rare, mark a departure from the clandestine nature of past leaders' relationships. Despite the constraints imposed by North Korea's political culture, Ri Sol Ju has garnered a level of recognition simply by virtue of being acknowledged and seen on select occasions. In the context of North Korea's tightly controlled narrative, Ri Sol Ju's existence and occasional sightings elevate her to a status akin to a celebrity. Her presence, however fleeting, serves as a departure from the historical norms of secrecy, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the private world of North Korea's ruling elite. 12. Fashion Ri Sol Ju, the elusive wife of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, captivates global attention whenever she makes a rare public appearance. Every aspect of her presence, from her words to her actions to her choice of attire, undergoes meticulous scrutiny and analysis. Despite her infrequent sightings, Ri Sol Ju has surprisingly emerged as a fashion icon, with her evolving style garnering widespread admiration and comparison to prominent figures like Kate Middleton. Over the years, Ri Sol Ju's fashion choices have undergone dramatic transformations, reflecting both personal evolution and, perhaps, weird rules Kim makes her follow. From initially sporting a personal brooch to occasionally daring to wear Western styles, her wardrobe has evolved into a blend of elegance and sophistication. The attention to detail in her outfits, coupled with their undeniable charm and fashion forwardness, often draws parallels to the style sensibilities of royal figures. 
One notable instance of Riesel Jew's fashion prowess making headlines occurred during a rare public appearance in China in 2018. The Chinese populace couldn't help but admire her attire, with many drawing comparisons between her style and that of China's first lady, Peng Liyuan. Such moments not only showcase Ri Sol Ju's sartorial flair, but also serve as rare glimpses into her otherwise mysterious world. In the midst of geopolitical tensions and diplomatic maneuvers, Ri Sol Ju's fashion choices offer a glimpse of soft power and cultural influence within the confines of North Korea's tightly controlled narrative. Each public appearance, however rare, provides a canvas for her to subtly shape perceptions and challenge stereotypes, underscoring the multifaceted nature of her role within one of the world's most secretive regimes. 11. Follows him to summits. Ri Sol-ju's role as the wife of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is shrouded in secrecy, yet occasional glimpses into her life provide intriguing insights into the inner workings of one of the world's most closed-off regimes and weird rules she has to follow. While she remains hidden from public view for much of the time, her duties occasionally grant her moments in the sunlight, albeit under somber circumstances. As the wife of Kim Jong-un, part of her responsibilities involves a company him on official business, which can range from light-hearted visits to amusement parks to more solemn occasions such as paying homage to deceased leaders. She even got to keep him company when Kim Jong-un had a meeting with Donald Trump back in 2012. Yep, they went to China together, a trip no former North Korean first lady had the opportunity to have. Ri Sol Ju also often finds herself attending ceremonies to honor her father-in-law, Kim Jong-il, and her grandfather-in-law, Kim Il-sung. While significant in upholding the regime's traditions, these excursions cast a somber shadow over her rare public appearances. It's a stark contrast to the typical notion of date nights, as Kim Jong-un's preference for visiting the resting places of his forefathers stands in sharp contrast to conventional romantic outings. Yet Ri Sol Ju must follow this weird dating rule. But you want to know what's even more bizarre than that? Some of Kim Jong-un's devoted fans, who adore him so much that they make themselves look just like like him. 10. Marriage The details surrounding the courtship and marriage of Kim Jong-un and Ri sol Ju remain shrouded in mystery, much like many aspects of their relationship. Various theories abound regarding how the couple initially met and the circumstances leading to their union. One prevalent theory suggests that they may have crossed paths during their school years, with Ri sol Ju then known by the name Young Sung Woo. Some speculate that a change in name to Ri Sol Ju facilitated their eventual marriage. However, analyst Chi Yong Seon Chung proposes a compelling alternative explanation that aligns with the political dynamics of North Korea during that period. Kim Jong Il, Kim Jong Un's father, and the ruler of North Korea exerted strict control over his children, especially as his health began to deteriorate following a stroke in 2008. Aware of his limited time and the need to solidify his son's position, Kim Jong-il is said to have orchestrated a marriage for Kim Jong-un as part of his succession plan. It's plausible that one of the earliest rules Ri sol Ju had to adhere to was her very marriage to Kim Jong-un. This arrangement, believed to have taken place in 2009, would have been a strategic move to ensure the stability of the regime and the continuity of the Kim dynasty. Following their marriage, Ri sol Ju and Kim Jong-un welcomed their first child the following year, further cementing their union within the political hierarchy of North Korea. 9. Press Coverage In the realm of North Korean politics where secrecy and control reign supreme, the treatment of Ri sol Ju, the wife of Kim Jong-un, is nothing short of enigmatic. Unlike the Hollywood tabloids that meticulously dissect every moment of celebrity interactions, North Korea's coverage of Ri sol Ju is characterized by a conspicuous absence of information. From the outset of her marriage to Kim Jong-un, Ri sol Ju was carefully instructed to remain inconspicuous, often fading into the background during public appearances alongside her husband. Despite the intense curiosity surrounding her, North Korean media has remained remarkably reticent, with only sporadic mentions of her, initially referring to her as a comrade before adopting the title of respected first lady. 
Central to North Korea's ruling ethos is the preservation of power within the Kim dynasty, where male heirs are paramount for the continuation of the regime's legacy. Rumors persist regarding Ri Sol Ju's first two children with Kim Jong-un, both girls, an outcome deemed unacceptable in North Korea's patriarchal society. Speculations abound about the absence of a male heir and whether Kim Jong-un may have had children with other consorts, a practice not uncommon in North Korean leadership circles. When Weddings in North Korea, particularly those involving elite couples like Kim Jong-un and Ri Sol-ju, are steeped in tradition and protocol, while images of Ri Sol-ju as a blushing bride are conspicuously absent. The strict adherence to custom and societal expectations looms large. Couples must go through a labyrinth of weird rules, from avoiding auspicious dates tied to the birthdays of past leaders to partaking in traditional ceremonies involving live chickens. Beyond Ri Sol-ju, another prominent figure in Kim Jong-un's inner circle is his sister Kim Yo-jong, which brings us to another rule that Ri Sol-ju has to obey. 8. Isn't the real first lady? In the intricate tapestry of North Korean leadership, two women occupy contrasting yet complementary roles, each wielding their brand of power and influence. At the forefront stands Ri Sol-ju, the poised and elegant first lady, whose public persona radiates grace and charm. Yet, lurking behind the scenes is Kim Yo-jong, the enigmatic younger sister of Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, whose title as the propaganda princess belies her true authority within the regime. While Ri Sol-ju captivates foreign dignitaries and graces official portraits with her magnetic smile, it is Kim Yo-jong who holds the reins of control over the regime's narrative. As vice director of propaganda, she orchestrates the dissemination of information, carefully curating the image of the regime both domestically and internationally. In this intricate dance of power and politics, Rai's role as the First Lady may seem glamorous, but it is Kim Yo-jong who truly wields the influence, shaping the narrative and guiding her brother's decisions from the shadows. Their dynamic is one of careful coordination and strategic maneuvering. While some may paint a picture of sisterly harmony, the reality reflects a more complex dynamic with Ri following the simple rule serve as the polished face of the regime while Kim Yo-jong pulls the strings, unseen yet omnipresent in her influence. 7. She can't get divorced. North Korea's legal framework presents a formidable obstacle to any potential separation for Ri Sol-ju. While divorce theoretically exists within the system, its feasibility is heavily circumscribed by stringent criteria and a bias in favor of the state. Unlike Western jurisdictions where irreconcilable differences suffice, North Korea demands concrete grounds such as mistreatment or adultery, grounds that seem incongruous given the regime's cavalier attitude toward marital fidelity. For Ri, contemplating divorce is fraught with complexities. The legal landscape offers little recourse, with the state's interests prioritized over individual autonomy. Any decision regarding separation ultimately rests with Kim Jong-un, rendering Ri's fate subject to his whims. This dynamic transforms the prospect of divorce from a liberating choice into a potential shackle reinforcing her dependency on Kim's decisions. Moreover, navigating the legal process carries inherent risks. Despite the nominal requirement of court involvement, the impartiality of North Korea's judicial system under authoritarian rule is dubious. Publicly pursuing divorce could be misconstrued as dissent, endangering not only Rai, but also her family. Can you believe that Ri Sol-ju can't even get divorced if she is unhappy? Sounds like a cruel destiny. 6. Isn't allowed to talk to her family Kim Jong-un's imposition of a ban on Ri Sol-ju from seeing her family might be hard to believe, but it is really the truth. This prohibition extends beyond mere restrictions on personal autonomy, serving as a calculated strategy to consolidate the regime's power. By isolating Ri from her family, the regime aims to preempt any potential dissent or opposition that could arise from within her inner circle. This deliberate strategy reinforces Ri's dependence on Kim Jong-un and the ruling elite for social and emotional support, effectively tethering her loyalty to the regime. Furthermore, the ban on family visits serves as a tool to sever Ri's ties to the outside world, 
depriving her of alternative sources of information and support beyond the regime's control. Cut off from her family, Rai's worldview becomes increasingly shaped by the regime's narratives, deepening her allegiance to Kim Jong-un and the ruling apparatus. This tactic exemplifies the regime's broader agenda of maintaining absolute control over its citizens, even at the expense of familial bonds and personal relationships. In the tightly controlled society of North Korea, familial ties serve as yet another means through which the regime perpetuates its authority and suppresses dissent, and even the First Lady herself isn't immune to these weird rules. 5. Charity as an Obligation Kim Jong-un's directive for Ri Sol-ju to attend charity events may initially appear innocuous, but it serves as a strategic tool in bolstering the regime's image within North Korean society. Rai's involvement in philanthropic endeavors is not merely a personal choice, but a calculated necessity dictated by the regime's propaganda machinery. As the wife of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, Rhee's participation in charity work symbolizes compassion and benevolence associated with the Kim dynasty. Her presence at such events reinforces the regime's narrative of caring leadership, portraying Kim Jong-un and his family as benevolent stewards of the people. Moreover, Rhee's involvement in charity serves to humanize the regime's image, presenting a softer and more relatable aspect of the Kim family's rule. Through her interactions with those in need, Ri conveys a message of empathy and solidarity, fostering a sense of connection between the ruling elite and the populace. Furthermore, Ri's participation in charity events plays a crucial role in bolstering internal cohesion and loyalty among North Korean citizens. By showcasing the regime's commitment to addressing social issues and improving the welfare of the people, she strengthens the regime's legitimacy and reinforces its grip on power. Still, it's a bit sad that the charity events in North Korea serve only for show and tell. 4. She cannot leave North Korea. This week, North Korea now will look into North Korea's first lady Lee so and other cases of her absence from public view in the past. Before assuming her role as the respected First Lady of North Korea, Ri Sol Ju's past remains shrouded in mystery, with tantalizing glimpses hinting at a life starkly different from her present reality, shaped by weird sets of rules she gets from her husband. Despite the regime's tight control over information, rumors and whispers offer intriguing insights into Ri's pre-marital experiences, painting a picture of a woman shaped by encounters beyond the confines of North Korea's borders. One such rumor suggests Ri's pursuit of music abroad, with speculation pointing to a stint in China where she may have immersed herself in a diverse cultural milieu. This hypothetical exposure to alternative political and social ideologies likely left an indelible imprint on her worldview, challenging the narratives she had been indoctrinated with. Additionally, reports hint at a possible visit to South Korea in 2005, where Rai allegedly participated in the Asian Athletics Championships. If true, this fleeting encounter with the South would have provided Ri with a first-hand glimpse into a society characterized by democracy and commercialism, offering her a contrasting perspective on the world outside North Korea's borders. However, despite these tantalizing reports, Rai's current reality is one of strict control and confinement. Her movements are tightly regulated, restricted to sanctioned trips within North Korea, or to attend government-approved events abroad, of course, in the company of her husband. Unfortunately, Ri won't be able to leave North Korea without him ever again. 3. She needs to keep her eyes closed that the North's own state media is really playing up First Lady Ri sol -ju. North Korea's veiled leadership structure gives rise to uncertainties surrounding succession. Despite official bans on adultery and polygamy, historical precedent suggests that these rules aren't uniformly enforced. If Ri sol -ju, Kim Jong-un's wife, fails to produce a designated heir, the possibility of him seeking alternatives cannot be discounted, with Ri left powerless to voice any objection. This weird rule is supported by Kim's own illegitimate birth, underscoring the dynasty's flexibility regarding lineage. Yet, merely producing an heir is insufficient. The chosen successor must possess the requisite capabilities and suitability for leadership. Kim Jong-un himself defied primogeniture, 
being selected over his older brothers deemed lacking in necessary qualities. The intrigue deepens with the ascent of Hyon Song Wool, a former flame of Kim Jong Un, to a prominent position within the ruling party. Her presence alongside him on foreign trips ignites speculation about her potential role in the future leadership of North Korea. Despite the official narrative delineating clear rules, the reality of North Korea's leadership succession remains cloaked in secrecy and susceptible to deviations. The opaque nature of the regime leaves room for speculation and uncertainty about who will ultimately ascend to lead the nation. But one thing is sure, Kim Jong-un's wife isn't allowed to cheat, but has to keep quiet if she gets cheated on. Not fair, Kim. Not fair. 2. Mobile phone? Guess not. United Nations sanctions imposed in 2017 prohibit imports of mobile phone hardware. In the tightly controlled confines of North Korea, where the regime's authority extends into every facet of daily life, access to modern communication technologies is strictly regulated, even for the wife of the leader, Ri Sol Ju. Prohibited from using mobile phones or accessing the internet, Rai's digital isolation underscores the regime's firm grip on information and communication channels. This ban on mobile phones and internet access for Ri Sol Ju transcends mere inconvenience serving as a calculated maneuver by the regime to maintain its control over the dissemination of information. In a country notorious for its suppression of dissent, these technologies are viewed as potential instruments for subversion and opposition. By curtailing Rai's access to them, Kim Jong-un aims to mitigate the risk of his wife engaging with external actors or accessing information deemed detrimental to its stability. Cut off from the broader digital landscape and deprived of avenues for independent communication, Rai's worldview becomes solely shaped by the regime's propaganda narratives. Guess he really wants his wife to be obedient. 1. She isn't allowed to say no. Can you imagine being in a relationship where you just don't have the right to any opinion of your own? In North Korea, dissent isn't just discouraged, it's ruthlessly stamped out. Last weekend, we reported on the sudden, unexpected release of Kenneth Bay and Matthew Todd Miller, two Americans who had been detained and then sentenced to lengthy prison terms in North Korea. Ri Sol Ju, the enigmatic first lady, navigates this stifling environment where veering from the state-sanctioned narrative invites swift and severe repercussions. Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader, wields absolute authority over Ri Sol Ju, ensuring her unwavering compliance with his mandates. His pervasive influence permeates every facet of her existence, dictating her public appearances and even her private thoughts. Under his vigilant gaze, Ri is compelled to adhere rigidly to the party line, and her personal autonomy is eclipsed by the demands of loyalty and submission. Within the confines of the regime, dissent manifests in myriad forms, from overt acts of rebellion to subtle expressions of discontent. Ri Sol Ju, like all inhabitants, recognizes the dire consequences of challenging the established order. Her public persona is meticulously crafted to align seamlessly with the regime's propaganda. Each appearance, a carefully choreographed exhibition of fidelity and compliance. Yet, behind closed doors, cracks in the facade betray an inner turmoil. A conflict between personal convictions and the relentless pressure to conform. The regime's pervasive surveillance apparatus ensures that any whisper of dissension is swiftly detected and met with harsh reprisal. Suspected dissenters face interrogation, imprisonment or worse, as the regime ruthlessly safeguards its stranglehold on power, a weird rule that applies to everyone, even the First Lady. What is the craziest rule the First Lady of North Korea has to adhere to? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.